Welcome to Bean and Bracket Factory and welcome to episode four of the Austin 7 special front suspension saga because it starts to turn into a bit of a saga. So in the first episode I explained what I wanted to do. In the second episode I built the front cross member, the beam axle. Uh, in the third episode I made the lower radius arms. So in this episode I'm going to tackle the top radius arm. So let's get cracking. Right, so the plan is to make a link which connects this top piece, which obviously bubbles backwards and forwards, but needs to be held still, back to here. So what I've got is this square section bar, and I'm going to machine up uh, a sort of connecting link, which is going to go, only going to be about that long, go there, and that's going to slot onto some tube like that, and then it's be welded together, and that'll form pivot at that end. So. That's the first step, make that part. A bit of quality lathe time later and I've made this. So this slots into that tube like that. It's a nice, decent, tight fit. I'm gonna machine a little groove around there so I can weld it together. Uh, so now I need to drill a hole in there, which can be 3 eighths again, and sort of trim it and make it nice and round on the end. So. That's the next step. So this part is now made. I might put a, a, a greater radius on that and make it completely, well, a constant radius. But that, that's all right to work with at the moment. Um, so that goes in, into the end of there. I'm gonna obviously have a long link. And what I've done is made these two cardboard templates. So the way it's gonna work is that if I just put these on here like this, nice and slowly. Um, it's going to work like that basically and I'm going to weld these two brackets onto there like that and um, that's how it's going to work. So I'm going to make these out of um, some chunky plate and um, I'm going to chamfer the bottoms uh, at sort of 45 degrees so it sits nicely onto this tube. Certainly run a weld on the outside and try and get as much weld on the inside as well, but it should be nice and beefy and strong. So, make some brackets. So those brackets are now made and I've bolted it together and just put it in situ on the car and that's what it's looking like. So now I need to uh, tack that bracket on, uh, come back, make sure it's all in the right place and then I can weld it up. 
So a bracket was tacked on and has now been welded on, so time to offer it all up to the car. So this is what it looks like on the car, and that is the front end. Um, so I've not actually welded these ends up yet. I'm going to wait until I've got both sides on and I've measured everything and made sure it's completely symmetrical and then I can weld everything up. So uh, that's all for this episode I think. Um, the next episode is going to be all about this. So you'll notice that these uprights are on now and these haven't been welded up yet but these are going to get welded up at 7 degrees caster angle which is about that when everything else is done. But the, the focus of the next episode is going to be the steering arms. These are the standard Austin 7 steering arms. They're a bit too short for my liking. I'd like something much bigger and sturdier, which gives me a straight track rod run, as opposed to a kinked track rod. So they're going to come out to about here. I, haven't, uh, I don't know quite how I'm going to make them yet. All I do know is that they're going to have to be strong, um, and very big and beefy. Um, we don't want those breaking or bending. Uh, so... Given that I don't know how that it's going to be done, I'm going to have to watch the next episode to find out what I actually did. So, uh, if you're interested in that, uh, hit subscribe, um, don't forget to like, and please uh, feel free to leave a comment. Cheers for now.